I already have a hosting account with Linode, so you can set this up very easily. Once logged in, you can also buy a very basic virtual server for around $5 per month. My web server is already set up, but is currently offline. It is very easy to power up, so I will do so, and within a very short time, the server is online and reachable on the internet. Once booted up, we can SSH to the server using PuTTY and this will enable us to start a very popular service that runs the platform for many websites on the internet, Apache Web Server. I take the IP address assigned by Linode and start up PuTTY using the username and password I created. By logging in via SSH, I am confirming the server is powered up and accessible. To confirm the IP address of the server, I issue the command ifconfig and then compare this to the IP address on the Linode website, just to confirm they are the same. This IP address will be crucial in the future, once I attempt to reach the IP address by using a browser. To use the server for hosting websites or carrying out application testing, you will need to start the Apache service. As you can see here, the Apache service is currently inactive, so to start this service, you will need to issue the command, sudo service apache2 start. Issue the command sudo service apache2 status again, to confirm that the service is now active and you will now have a functioning Apache web server. Now you can grab the IP address of the server from Linode and we are going to paste this into the browser. If the Apache server is running perfectly on the web server, you will see the default web page for Apache. As I created an Ubuntu web server on Linode, you can see the default page for Apache using Ubuntu, but of course, you can use any other flavor of Linux, such as Red Hat or Fedora for example. Thanks to the G-Man channel for this easy to set up video like, share and subscribe when you have time and we will see you again next time.